Hey, do you love big old homes with beautiful remodels and updates inside? Then this video is for you. I'm Alex Roy, trusted buyer's agent with John L. Scott in Eastside Portland. And you know what? Often when I'm touring homes with buyer clients and we're out there looking at them, I come across some homes that really make me go, wow, this home is awesome and I want to share them with you. And so in this video showcase, I have three really great old homes, you know, over a hundred years old that have been updated and remodeled recently. They're all actively on the market as of today, October 3rd. And so I want to show them to you and check them out. And you know what, if you want, you can look down in the details of this, uh, post, whether it's on YouTube or Facebook, I've got links to the listings where you can check out all the photos and the listing details. And if you want to check them out in person, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. Love to chat with you, show you these homes. All right, let's get started. All right, for the first home in our showcase, we have this wonderful craftsman home up in Northeast Portland at 2905 Northeast 58th Ave. It is very typical of a 1920s construction in Eastside Portland. It is has four bedrooms, two bathrooms, spread out over 2,760 square feet. And of course, it's got some great updates in it because that is the purpose of our videos today. That's why it's in the showcase, but also great original features that are real common of these homes that were built in the 20s in Portland, especially of the craftsman style. Can't wait to point out both of those to you. Let's go check it out. Right off the bat at the front entrance, we've got a few updates like these wall sconces for porch lights. They are in keeping with the style and age of the home. Uh, I believe that these tiles may be replicas of the original 1931 uh, tile house addresses that were installed on all Portland homes in 1931, but they may be original. That bracket might be original. It's a very good replica of the style. And then another update that's clear on this home all the way around is that it now has this vinyl siding vinyl siding, certainly not the most expensive high-end uh, siding that you can get in a home, but it has great advantages of being very easy to maintain and keep clean. It's going to last a really long time and uh, does look like uh, what would otherwise be good wood siding and it looks to be in great shape. All right, let's check inside going through this beautiful classic front door with the single panel and the trim work. We come into the living room and here we've got what's very common in 1920s craftsmen's where you come in the front door and immediately to the right or to the left we have a fireplace with built-ins around it and on the opposite side we have a dining room area that has uh, the walls and the cutout to walk through and provide a little bit of separation in the room. And this one has wonderful built-ins that I don't often see in dining rooms, uh, but this one has a really great built-in with mirrors. This would also be the original hardwood floor that looks like it's been totally uh, nicely sanded and refinished with a Swedish finish. All top nailed original hardwood floor. But moving into the kitchen, here's one of our first updates. And this does uh, have newer hardwood floor that is doing a pretty good job of matching to the original. I always really appreciate when, if you are going to uh, get close to that color, that you do a pretty good job of matching. And this one does a pretty nice job. In the kitchen, we have new cabinets with quartz countertops. They're creating a bit of a, a faux Carrera marble look on them. Uh, maybe not Carrera, but, but a, a faux marble look. And these are all engineered quartz. We've got stainless steel sink with some very nice hardware that has gold accents. We see that there at the faucet and at the poles that have been selected for the home. Check out those drawers, open nicely and our soft clothes, great stuff. I do like good soft clothes, um, uh, poles and hinges for the cabinets. No slamming those cupboard doors, real nice stuff. And another great feature in this house that looks like they have updated well are the windows right here, all with uh, double pane 
uh, vinyl windows. These are vinyl, but they have really great uh, slider systems in them. So they're opening and closing very smoothly and not just dropping shut on you. So nice window updates in the home. As we come out of the living room and come through to the back of the house on the right side, we've got the two bedrooms on the main floor and more uh, lovely built-ins in this hallway, which is a, just a great character original style. I love that. And I love the casing around the doors. Very classic, classic of a craftsman home. But here's another one of the uh, wonderful updates in the home, and that is this bathroom on the main. It, it looks like it was completely remodeled right down to the studs and ended up with some very nice ceramic tile uh, floor and uh, shower surround. Got new shower hardware all through there. Looks to be pretty much a brand new bathtub. New bathroom vanity with the quartz countertop, mirror, and toilet. And if I had to guess, uh, just based on this built-in mirror here uh, looking to be original, there may have been originally built-ins all through here for a little uh, powder room vanity. We do see those in uh, craftsmen's from time to time, also with the updated windows. The upstairs bedroom and landing appear to still have a lot of the original hardware that came with the home, and the fur floors up here have been recently refinished. Now for the age of the home, one would expect that the roof has been changed uh, several times in its life, but to be frank, that is not always the case. I still find some homes that are nearing 100 years old and still have three layers of shingles down on, sitting on top of the original shiplap of the roof. This one at least thankfully has been torn right off and has had new plywood laid down, likely at some point within the last 25 years. I can't be certain of the age of uh, all that plywood, but it is certainly newer than it is older, and that's good to now, see. Despite having seen a very nicely remodeled kitchen and bathroom upstairs, in my opinion, the biggest upgrades to this home are here in the basement where it has been completely finished. It has been totally framed in, drywalled very nicely with an added uh, remodeled bathroom down here. And look at all that great counter space that you get out of it in that vanity. There is the shower with the same uh, type of tile shower surround that we saw on the main floor, tiled floors. That is just lovely. We have one of our four bedrooms, this one being the fourth one down here with a really great space within it. And look at this great egress window that is south facing, get some great light. And that is a really great installment and addition to this home. And the ceiling height, hey, I'm a six foot guy and I got plenty of head space in this basement. Really feels nice and open. And let's check out over here into the, what I would call the lower family room area. Lots of room on this side as well. We've got a totally finished laundry room section with all of the hookups right there. And then a very nicely finished separate entrance to this basement. That looks like some recent concrete work with drain, new door. I love it. I don't see this on a lot of homes. It takes some, uh, takes some money to get that done and it takes some real effort. It's not as exciting as the kitchen and the bathroom, but it's such important work. And then here into the utility area, that is a brand new panel, 2022. Water heater and furnace are all very much on the newer end. And finishing off the tour, that is a classic utility sink, but rarely do I see them in such beautiful, clean condition where they uh, put in some uh, similar faucet uh, that would have originally been there with the updated plumbing. Check that out, got all that PEX plumbing. That looks great. Uh, new PEX plumbing all throughout. It looks like it's been updated, but this utility sink, 
being refinished and being new makes it really feel like this home has had a lot of care and attention put into it. Great home. Let's check out the next one. All right, next up on our home tour is this very grand Craftsman, over 4,000 square feet. This one's located at 2443 Southeast Ivan Street in Southeast Portland, and it has so many cool things to show you inside. It's a really neat mix of old and new. They've added in some older period pieces that I don't believe are original to it, keeping with uh, the era of the house, but then also some really nice new updates to it. It has four bed uh, bedrooms, two full bathrooms in the house itself, and then a whole other bedroom and bathroom in a little ADU above the garage. It's great as an Airbnb rental, but we're not even gonna have a chance to uh, see that because I've got so much to show you just inside the main floor and upstairs of this home. Let's check it out. So one of the first things I wanna show you about the home as we approach it is this wonderfully decorative exterior, which is made of uh, both just regular brick and clinker brick for a nice decorative design. Certainly not an update, that's original to the home, but that hardy looking roof on top with its architectural shingles, that's typically a what they would call a 50 year roof and is a wonderful addition and upgrade for the home. Let's check out inside. Okay, as soon as you come in the home, you're greeted in the living room, and we are seeing more of that craftsman charm that we know and love in Portland. There is the fireplace with its lead glass uh, built-ins on the right and left of it. Very common to have those two windows and the mirror above. And here they have updated the tile around it, and that looks like all individually hand-set little bits of tile in amongst the black grout. That I do not believe at all is original. I, If I had to guess, that was an added feature that is very beautiful. It's one of several Art Deco updates in this home that I think are uh, really interesting. It's not necessarily indicative of the craftsman style. Art Deco is a different style, but here is a slip shade uh, light sconce that is definitely um, more Art Deco. You can see it better uh, when the light is off. Lovely, lovely design. Great textured walls, curved ceiling, and the lovely original nailed up, top nailed hardwood floors, all very nicely finished. And lead and glass windows in the front. Okay, that's some of the old stuff, but what's been updated, because that is the theme of our uh, video today, all throughout the house, I am seeing that at one point, someone thoughtfully updated this with what looks like push button light switches, and that would usually be the on and the off, but I can tell these are updated because every single one, that is a dimmer switch right there, and that being the push on and off. And that is lovely because they have those in pretty much every room that I've seen in the house. What a wonderful, thoughtful feature. Coming through the dining room where we've got the typical lead and glass built-ins, which is very nice and it's a nice large dining room. We come through to a kitchen, which I don't and, uh, think that this was uh, the original kitchen, this entire room. I think that the configuration has changed a little bit. This over here would be my belief was definitely um, original or closer to the original kitchen. And it is just darling how these green tiles have held up over the years. I love it. Those are definitely some classic uh, cabinets and they're still in really good shape. Someone has maintained those. I love the addition of the wallpaper and then a newer uh, faucet for the sink, keeping it looking great. And then expanding out to here, a really nice natural gas, gas stove with the down draft, uh, range uh, fume hood and the uh, uh, Viking fridge tucked away uh, on the side. So that's a great prep workspace for those who love to entertain. So that's one of the updates. Here's more of the Art Deco style that we've seen added to the home throughout the home. There's some really great light fixtures that have been uh, cleverly selected. 
I think a lot of these, if I had to guess, look like they came from Schoolhouse Electric, which is a wonderful Portland company that makes replicas just like that. And otherwise, lovely hardware all through the home. Great, great, consistent hardware. But wait till we get upstairs. Really lovely updated bathroom up here. We're gonna come through the hallway up top. The hardwood floors continue up here. And just like we saw in the last house, the wider fur floors for the upstairs. Remarkable how many similarities there are from the first house and this house. Very large spacious bedrooms up here in this case. Love the side of that. Added closets into that room. These fantastic pocket doors. Just like that. And I think in the case of the pocket doors and then this barn door, boy, I'm not sure. I wouldn't think that these are original to the home, but these are just lovely. I believe that if I had to guess, and some of you might correct me on this, but I think that is an East Lake design, a Victorian design of these locks and mechanisms. Lovely. All right, but let's go on to the bathroom where we've got some real updates. And here, this is a bathroom that has been fully updated with some really great uh, features. Of course, the lovely clawfoot tub. That looks great. We've got tiling all around and then this giant walk-in shower with two heads, lights inside, really nice tiling all through. And then I love the marble countertop. I'm a big fan of real marble. For those of you that have seen uh, my kitchen, I love, love marble. And we've got a marble top right there. And then the marble tile adorning with the chair railing and the top railing on this uh, tile all around. It looks beautiful. All very smartly put together. What a fantastic home. All right, this one is great. I encourage you to check out more of the photos online for this home because it's a real stunner. On to the third one. Okay, quick add-on before we go. I would be totally remiss if I didn't show you this wonderful original bathroom on the main. Check this out. Oh, look at that fabulous pink and green tile that we see in many homes built in the 1920s here in Portland. Uh, not just this one, but I just love it every time I see it. And boy, do they pair a great choice of wallpaper with that tile. And take a look at that little built-in vanity there. That's exactly what I believe was originally in that bathroom of the first house that we looked at, where I was mentioning that the vanity had been removed. Great original sink. Fabulous. Just had to show that, yeah. All right, here we are for our third and final home in the tour, and this one is a Victorian style home. And boy, am I happy to have this included in the tour since the first two were craftsmen, but also because Victorian style homes are always tend to be the oldest homes that you're gonna find in Eastside Portland, still kicking around. This one was built in 1894, so definitely the oldest one in our tour. A lot of Victorians built sometime between 1890 and about 1920, and then the craftsmen's really come into vogue, 1920s to 1940s, you see a lot of uh, craftsmen's age. This Victorian here is up in Northeast Portland, uh, just off of North Vancouver and North Williams on uh, Northeast Rodney Ave, 3639 Northeast Rodney. It has four bedrooms, three full bathrooms, uh, over 2,400 square feet of space with the basement, main floor, and a lot of the bedrooms upstairs. Let's check out those updates inside. So as we approach the house, we see a lot of things that are so typical in Victorian style homes, including the wraparound porch. Love that. and the vertical railings all being nice and small and you got a little bit of decorative woodwork around the top and then of course the fish scale siding is just picture perfect for Victorians. One thing I'm seeing right off the bat is that we have some updated uh, double pane windows which you know 
is just so wonderful, especially in a drafty winter. You don't want a drafty home in that cold winter. The double pane windows really help. When we walk in, we see we've got uh, typically what is very typical in the Victorians, a living room right here with the three sets, uh, the set of three windows in the front that's bumped out. And it looks like they've added in their own built-in bookcases to this wall in the living room. And we can see in the floor, we've got the original uh, fur floor, which if you'll recall in the Craftsman's, we saw on the second floor of those homes. Here in the Victorians, it is all across the first floor. They've opened up this dining room quite nicely. And as you can see, there's wainscoting all along uh, you know, that lower third of the wall. And I don't believe this is the original wainscoting, but it's nice that they've taken the time to uh, replace it. it. Perhaps it was damaged in the past, but they've kept it very much in its original style. That built in there, I suspect, is original. And of course, all this casing uh, around the doors, all that work, that is all original. We actually see this exact same feature in other Victorians, such as the Paulson House. And be sure to check out that YouTube video on the Paulson House uh, on my uh, YouTube page. But let's check out one of the major remodels that they have done in that, this house, and that is this big open concept kitchen. Nothing in this house when it was originally built would have been open concept because with it uh, being 1894 and not great heating and insulation systems, they would have wanted small rooms to control uh, you know, your temperature in the winter. So this has all been opened up in many ways to create this big open kitchen. And so that is a lot of uh, work, structural work, and it's been well done. And then for the updates, it's lovely. I love, me personally, I love natural stone. And so you've got a nice uh, 3M thick uh, countertop. I'm going to guess that it's granite. Please let me know if you think I'm wrong on that, but I think it's a type of granite. And I just love that feeling of natural cold stone. Have the double uh, farm sink, looks great. Great gas range with actual fume hood that's venting out. And then this uh, lovely butcher block island in the center and a little dining area just off to the side with some more built-ins. It's a really, really great kitchen that's getting this wonderful uh, evening light uh, getting near the end of the day. Looks fantastic, a little deco back. All right, but our second update that I think is super cool is upstairs. So let's make our way on up here. I love the embossed wallpaper that they put on to uh, take the place of the wainscoting on the entrance. That always feels very period specific. And one other item that may have been original to the house or may have been reclaimed at one of the great vintage stores uh, in Portland, uh, resale stores, is this light fixture. And that is definitely not a replica. That very much feels to me that that is an original piece right there. All right. Now we're gonna head on upstairs, continue on up. The fur floors continue up here. We have three bedrooms, one, two, but check out this master suite. Wide open. How about that? I love this wall color choice with the color of the fur floors. That feels just sweet, very, very nice. And They've done the work to have this uh, ducting installed all through the house, coming down from the attic. And so you have forced air and it's not electric wall heaters uh, in the upstairs. I think that's really, really wonderful. And this was obviously not original, but they've tried to keep in the style of the original home and added these. Those I don't think are original. Maybe they're reclaimed from another spot, but they weren't here originally. And it's really nice that they added those in. And then they've got the little west facing deck right off of the bedroom, just like that. And the built-in skylights into the roof for extra light. A nice deep closet for this master bedroom. Built-in drawers, lots of storage options, and then the ensuite bathroom up top that has loads of space, does not feel tight in here. Head height room is real good. Shower and bathtub. Fantastic. So much ample room in this upstairs master suite. 
a lot more than I would find in a typical 2,400 square foot uh, listing. So that does it for our tour today of three old homes that have had updates and remodels. If you want more information about these homes or any homes that you come across for sale in Portland, give me a call, send me an email, or send me a text. I am here to work with you and help you achieve your real estate goals. And if you got a friend that loves homes, be sure to share this video with them. I'm Alex Roy, trusted realtor in Eastside Portland with John L. Scott Real Estate.